What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went straight from uh, one route to another, defeated quite a few swimmers, and uh, we found ourselves Sea Mauville. So that's, what, that's exactly what it looks like now, in real life and all that crud. So that's where we're going to be continuing, and uh, this will actually be the conclusion of our side quest right here in the sea. You know, under the sea. And, uh, well, hopefully, hopefully, just hopefully, we can continue on our adventure right here, uh, going eastbound of, uh, you know, of, uh, Hoenn right here. So, let's go ahead and talk to this lady right here. Oh my, are you a tourist? I remember, I remember, or I'm a member of the Nature Preservation Society that manages this site. Is there anything you would like, to, like me to tell you about Sea Mauville? Well, what is this place? This place was once a facility built to extract natural resources that can be found in the ocean. However, a certain event led to the facility's closure. Normally, you would expect a, you would expect that an unnecessary facility like this, uh, like this one, would be torn down. But an environmental survey carried out before the new construction led to led to the, the awareness that a unique environment had risen here in Sea Mauville. As a result. The demolition plans were shelved, and this pla this space was reborn as a nature preserve. Is there anything else you would like me to tell you about? Well, let's see. What is there to do? The most re easily recognizable feature of Sea Mauville is this building, which now tilts precar or precariously into the sea. After being exposed to the elements for so long, the building's support structures weathered and corroded, ultimately leaving the building in a current in, in its current state. Please be careful where you step as the exper or as you experience yourself to or the awesome power of nature. Also, or also note the mangroves growing in this uh, in this area. They are extremely rare trees and can be only be found here around Moss Deep City. Lastly, I would like uh, I would like to point out the interior of the building has largely or has been are largely or largely t untouched in the decades following the Seamallville's uh, closure, a fact that most of our visitors delight to experience. And yes, there's nothing else that you can tell me. Let's go right ahead and take a look at this place. Yes, it is. Uh, well, we have to pay them just to get get through this whole area right here. We never got to do that in Pokemon Emerald or Ruby or anything like that, but it's still okay. And uh, here's an item right here. We found ourselves an escape rope. Always nice to find an escape rope. And let's see, talk to this guy. I'm here surveying, or surveying C. Mauville at the request of Captain Stern. Okay, so eventually we're gonna be talking to that guy pretty soon. And well, as you can see, what a sight. What a freaking sight, it is, uh, it is tilting. Now if you can go right here, holy crud. We could see the ocean, we could swim in there. I don't even know, I kinda wanna fall, don't wanna fall. But eventually, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, well, eventually, you're gonna see that there's a, you know, a link between legendary Pokemon and this place right here. They actually did add a, a lot more to this whole area right here. So now we see a yellow Pokeball and we find ourselves the TM18 Rain Dance. Very good uh, move if you wanna, if you wanna be all strategic. And well, let's go inside and see what we can find here. Let's see. Talk to this lady. Sniff, sniff. Just as I thought, a rare Pokemon must be hiding somewhere in this abandoned building. Girls are very sensitive to the smell, so I know. Really, is there a legendary Pokemon around here? I kind of want to know. But they did, they did an, uh, do an improvement of this whole place right here. And well, if we talk to this kid, isn't this place fun? I get the chills just being here. And there are rumors about an awesome Pokemon living here. Well, we, we're, we're gonna have to locate that Pokemon. And let's see, this place is, this door is locked. Room one is written on there. So a lot of these rooms are locked. Some of them are not. This one right here is not. But eventually you're gonna see, you know, a few different things, events happen around this area, which we will cover eventually. And well, let's see, if you talk to this guy, places like this are, are rare. So I'm taking a good look around. Hmm, hmm, hmm. There are, or there appear to be other rooms. Now, let's see. There is a gigantic PC behind the locker. It doesn't open. Moss is growing from the broken monitor. And if we go right here, okay, so nothing right there. Eventually, you're gonna, you're actually gonna find some clues, just like in, uh, in Kanto. And here we have the uh, probably the only people that will actually battle us and all that stuff. These guys 
are a couple. They want to beat us. They want to be awesome. So here we go. Young couple. Lewis and Hal would like to battle. And they're coming out with Illuma, Illumise, or Illumise and uh, Volby. If you guys remember in our last episode, I did switch up some of my Pokemon to, uh, to older team members from Pokemon Emerald. And, uh, well, a new Pokemon member, which is Swamp, or uh, what was it called? Uh, Floodblade right here. So here we go with a uh, Aerial Ace attack right there. But that Bulbeak does survive. And here we go with a Rock Slide. And bam, takes care of both Pokemon. Yeah, buddy. That's right. That's right. And look at that. Fluffblade grows to level 38. And who else? Swamp Lord, of course, growing levels like crazy too. And Raiden grows to level 35. See, main reason why I didn't want to go around this area right now because yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna be growing your Pokemon pretty quickly around here. Now, is there a hidden item right here? I could be wrong. That's why I'm putting on these antennas and stuff. Alrighty, so let's see. Is there anything else that might be open? When I was young, I worked here. Even though it was closed for Pokemon's sake, looking at my old workplace, the Tyrion like this gives me mixed feelings. True. They're very, very true. And this door is locked as well. And let's see. Ah, oh, I can't go farther. If my Pokemon knows the move Dive, I might be able to go farther. This is true because once you go in here, you'll be seeing a dark spot right around here. So I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna show you guys right now. So if you go right here, you're only able to dive, and then after that, you'll be able to go, uh, able to go to the other side of this whole building right here. So for right now, this is actually the only place we can go to. But this is a small tour of what we're going to be seeing later on in our adventure and well let's see there's nothing right here except for this guy let's see talk to this guy <laughs> good good I like it I really do this atmosphere like it's been forgotten in time wow really there's really nothing right now really nothing okay so we're gonna be moving on right here and uh, we're gonna be making our way to Slayport City and hopefully make it out in time or make it out in one piece right here so here we go swamp lord taking the lead right here you can see look at those trees from what she said uh, moss deep city that that's the other place you can actually find that plot of those trees so what we're gonna do right now is gonna put on another repel and not be attacked by any pokemon and we're gonna get the f out of here and continue our adventure right here on route 108 and there is a Pokemon trainer waiting for us right there. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Raiden. And continue on battling some more Pokemon trainers. So homie here is looking at us. We ace trainers care, care not where we are when we train or battle. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, Constance would like to battle. And she is coming out with her Surviper. Look at that. How is that Surviper? Swimming. How are these Pokemon battling on the sea right here? We might be on some some kind of land or something. So here we go. Discharge attack. Don't know why I did that. It's not a water type Pokemon, but look at that. Survivor. Getting its butt kicked. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And she will be coming out with a swallow, so I'm gonna switch it up right here. You know what? It's time. Time to use Desert Storm. Look at this. Desert Storm, even though it's going to be a little slow to begin with. I think I do have the moves to beat this Swellow right here. So here we go. Let's go with the Rock Slide. Come on. Oh, crud. Yeah, go figure. She'd like to use Double Team. And, it, of course, it misses. So here we go again with another Rock Slide. And there's that Aerial Ace. Good God. Really? A freaking critical hit. Okay. I'm pissed. I'm really pissed now. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we're gonna we're gonna revive one of our Pokemon right here. So let's go not there. Probably should have bought more healing items. I do have the money now. And let's go revive a Pokemon right here. Desert Storm, wake the fuck up. God dang. There we go. And here comes an aerial ace attack. Yeah. Okay, so get some revenge now. Discharge away. Yeah, buddy. Suck it, Swellow. Oh, my God. I can't believe that it beat my Pokemon in one hit. Critical hit, no less. 
And look at that. Desert Storm grows a level 30. And then Swamp Lord grows a level 40. So that's another Pokemon in the level 40 club that I have. Pretty good. Pretty good. Very, 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 very good. And before I move on, let's go right ahead and just uh, heal up our Pokemon right here. So, let's see. Uh, actually, that's the wrong area. Let's go right here. I would like to use a full restore, but that's a little too much. So let's go Desert Storm right here. Okay. Let's move on right here. And like always, guys, do excuse the lagginess. Internet and all that crud. You gotta love it. Alrighty, so let's see. I could use Ah yeah, screw it. I'm gonna I'm just gonna use Lord Raiden right here. So bring it on, Surfer Boy. It, it is uh, or it is I who wait wait wait. It is I who has come splashing over to you. Be not surprised by this ace trainer. What the fuck are you talking about? Seriously. God damn, some people in there speaking. So here we go. Neville would like to battle and coming out with his Zangoosey. And this Zangoose is going to get his ass kicked. I know, I know. Zangoose. But I like to call it a Zangoosey. So, eat this discharge right here. You asshole Zangoose. Look at that. And there goes that Zangoose. Bam. Defeated. Oh yeah, I did ca I did trade for a Surviper. I did trade for a Surviper, guys. Because in this, uh, in this uh, game, you can't get, you can't get a uh, Surviper instead of, you know, Zangus and all that crud. And, well, yeah, I actually traded for some Pokemon that you can't normally get in this game right here. Like I said, Surviper uh, is one of them. I think Lunatone is the other one. God dang it. Poisoned. You know what? Screw you, asshole. Oh my god, okay, so there we go, we've been, we won, and now we gotta continue on our adventure right here. So let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon first. Luckily we got ourselves a buttload of uh, full uh, full heals right here. And, oh, Fluff Blade actually does have an, it does have a uh, an ability that heal automatically heals it. Hold on, let me take a look at this. Yes, it has natural, natural cu uh, cure. <laughs> Natural, natural, pure. All status conditions heal when the Pokemon switches out. Okay, so that kind of helped me out in a little, in the long run right there. And, well, let's continue on our adventure. Battling more Pokemon trainers. This guy right here. Ahoy there! Are you going out to Seamallville too? Maybe. Maybe I already went there. Maybe not. Okay, so let's go. Matthew coming out with his Lombre, the Ombre. And I'm gonna be going out with uh, Raiden, the Lord of Thunder. And uh, let's see, well, I do have other attacks right here. I already wasted all the uh, discharge attacks. So let's go ahead with a bite attack and that made it flinch. So let's go ahead and do another bite attack. Yeah, buddy, bite it. Look at that. No more Lombre the Ombre. Oh yes. And oh, there goes Matthew and that Right there helps us out just a little bit more with the money issue. Lexi, Lexi. Okay, so here we are going into Route 109, and I think we've already taken on some trainers right around here or near the beach. So what we're gonna do right here? I think there might be a hidden item. Maybe I don't even know. No, there's no hidden item. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go and switch out to. Let's go with the uh, Shroomly right here since it does have all its HP. And let's talk to this guy. <laughs> I'm gonna catch me a big one. Bring it. Okay, so Fisherman Carter would like to battle, and he's coming with his tentacle. Crud, I already picked another bad Pokemon right here. So here we go, Shroom Lee, kicking ass, taking names, getting his battle stance ready. And here we go with the headbutt attack. Let's go, headbutt attack. Does a trick. Tentacool has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And yeah, buddies. Fluff Blade grows to level 39. And that's another victory for us. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Everything awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue surfing right here. Alright, let's see. Gotta find the rest of the, the, the potions and all that crud right here. Uh, okay, so we gotta use another Super Repel. Eventually, I'm gonna have to buy some new ones. And here we found ourselves a Big Pearl which you can actually sell for a good price right there. And 
Uh, there's a there's a Pokemon right there waiting for us. And there's plenty of Pokemon trainers waiting for us right here, too. So let's go right ahead and... Uh, well, let's see. There's another island right there with two Pokemon trainers. So let's go and switch our, our Pokemon right here. Let's see. First, let's go ahead and take a look at our egg right here. And it looks, like, it looks as though this egg will take a long time yet to hatch. God dang. Okay, so... Don't know why I brought it over then. Alright, so... You know what? Let's go with Swamp Lord. And let's go with Raiden since... Uh, it's electric type attacks do not have an effect on my Swamp Lord. And... Well, screw it. Let's see. Uh, yes, let's go ahead and use this elixir. Really don't care at, right now, so... There we go, and... Let's go ahead and battle some Pokemon trainers right here. Oh, damn. Our love for, po for each other is heating up, Hoenn! Oh, no! I don't want you interrupting our time together. Okay. Alrighty. Here we go. Young couple Mel and Paul would like to battle, and they're coming with their Beautifly and Dust Tax. Eh, not too scary Pokemon right there. And, well... Lexi, I could go with uh, Muddy Water, and it will just hurt these two Pokemon. But here we go, Discharge right here, and it will affect every single Pokemon, but it does not affect my Swamp Lord, so everybody take a look at that. Oh yes, Beautifly has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. And Raiden, of course, grows to level 36. Okay, and it wants to learn Roar. It would have been awesome if it learned Roar of Time, but that's not its signature move right there. And Desert Storm grows to level 31. Here we go with the Muddy Water. And there goes Dust Tops. And another one bites the dust. Dun, dun, dun. Swamp Lord grows to level 41. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. And look at that. The old Pokemon team from Pokemon Emerald is kicking ass. Taking names and all that stuff. Yeah, buddy. Never thought you would see Swamp Lord again. Maybe in Pokemon Horizon and all that crap, but, you know, we still did it. Okay, so, let's see. We got Pokemon wanting to, uh, wanting them to capture it, or wanting to be captured. So, we're going to we're gonna move on forward right here. I know that there's quite a few other trainers that we can actually battle, but we're going to be moving. And, well, let's see. Here we are in Slayport City, the beach of Slayport City. And, well, let's see. I think, let's see. If you talk to this guy decorations actually this is where you buy the decorations no more repel let's go ahead and talk to this lady welcome how about a lovely dollar two no thank you okay so there's somebody here you could actually there's something waiting for you what did you like a fragrant incense no thank you this cost like a arm and a leg whenever I visit here I carry to get real carry yeah a lot of badges and all that stuff here we go oh you're swamper you really put a, a bit of more energy or you really got to put a bit more energy to your training if you can do that, I'll give you something nice. Never mind. Let's see, Energy Guru. Okay, so that's not the person that I wanted to talk to. There's somebody here that I wanted to talk to. Let's see. Home boasts an abundance of seafood in particular. The seaweed you get around these parts are fresh, full of life. Why, it looks like it would it could rear up an attack. Okay, that's not the person. This is the person right here, right? Welcome to the traveling TM shop. I think, yeah, I already bought every single one of the TMs right here. So, let's see. There is somebody here that will talk to you about secret bases and stuff. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, so not there. Okay, so never mind. I, just, I completely wasted my time right here. And here we are, guys, back in Slateport City. Now, I believe in the next episode, we will probably be going into the, the uh, Trick House for Part 3. Or we're going to be going into the east side of Hoenn now. So, stay tuned, guys. I'll be back for another episode of Pokemon Omega Ruby. See you guys.